Number one, Catherine. When we told my four-year-old girl she was going to have a baby brother, she started crying and pointing at my husband said, why would you do this to mommy? As she then pointed to my stomach, we were crying from laughter. She now loves her baby brother. That's hilarious that she would just point and say, why would you do this to mommy? Oh my gosh. Okay, number two, Angela. We had just had our fourth baby and our oldest, four and a half years old, was over the moon and loves her so much. Our daughter, who was two and a half, said, I don't want to be a big sister. I want to be a little sister. And now that she's here, she wants nothing to do with the baby sister. Oh, I'm sure she's so young too at the point where she'll eventually be, be happy that there's another sibling. That's funny. Okay, number three, Elaine. My son was only two when I got pregnant with my second. So I was fully prepared for him to not really understand the big news. What I did not expect was for him to look me dead in the eye and say, no, just no, no follow-up. He was not interested. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's hilarious. It's funny how each family, it's like completely different. Some are so excited. Some just, no, no, thanks. Number four, Tia. We've been trying for another baby for three years. When the test was finally positive, I screamed so loud that my husband and daughter came running. I told them the news and my daughter hugged and kissed my belly. She was so excited to be a big sister. That's so sweet. I love that she was just there for it. So excited. I love that. Number five, Michaela. When I had my second, my first was just over a year old. But once she was born, my first daughter turned so clingy. She was never really a mommy's girl, but then one day she couldn't let go of me and wouldn't let me leave her room or out of her sight. This is very typical behavior. I've heard of it happening just because they're used to being the only kid, so they're used to all the attention. So then when there's a new baby taking the attention, especially when they're that young, you know, just over a year, they're gonna be like, wait a second, I want this attention now. And that's, and that's hard to understand when you're that young. Number six, Wendy. When I found out I was pregnant, I asked my daughter which sex she would like the baby to be. She replied, a sister. If not a sister, then a kitten, then a brother. When I told her she was going to have a baby sister, she asked, so what about that kitten? <laughs> so she's like, yeah, I'm getting that sister, but how about that kitten though? Well, I guess at least it didn't turn out to be her third choice brother. Okay, number seven. Lily, my oldest son always feels responsible for his younger siblings. So when I told him about baby number five, he wasn't too thrilled. He said something along the lines of, I feel like you're doing this on purpose. I replied, what do you mean? To where he said, like you keep having babies. I don't know how this happens, but maybe you ate peanuts with a shell on or something. That's the most creative thought or response I've heard when it comes to how babies are made. Maybe you ate peanuts with the shell on. I mean, it could happen. Number eight, Rebecca. My son couldn't process that there was a baby growing in my belly. He knew he was getting a brother, but every time I told him the baby was growing in my belly, he would say, okay, but where is he really? He's got a lot of questions. I mean, it's it's smart. It's it's hard to really grasp that. Sometimes it's hard for me to grasp it. So it's hard for like, a, I mean, I don't know how old this baby is or this kid is, but I mean, it's it's hard for most kids to grasp like that are, a baby is growing in mom's tummy. Like how, how does that work again? Where do babies come from? Where are you holding him until he's ready to come out? I love that, love those questions. All right, I feel like I could keep reading this forever. If you have not, do yourself the favor and Google like best reactions to finding out they're going to be a sibling or something. And there's so many good ones out there. I love it. I love this question. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in this week to Mom Talks with Krista. I will see you next week.